All right, here for the final round. Currently deuce deuce. Uh, some unfortunate circumstances. Uh, a lot of mulligans last round, but also just like mm, some sketchy plays on my part. Maybe could have won that second game. I don't know. But this hand looks pretty good. Uh, going to lead on the Gossiper. Green white tokens, perhaps? Nope. Never. I am going to transform now. Uh, this can be risky if my opponent played, like, you know, Pelucranos or something, just like some giant monster. Uh, but I think it is better to just make it so I can't get hit with commands. So yeah, it looks like just a kind of normal Naya mid range deck. Thought on Seer. Yeah, okay. So never mind. My opponent did play Pelucranos. Okay, that's hella good. So we have a four five on attacking, like a lot of this happens in standard where the creature combat is just like all about notching, you know? And just make our thing a two three, give it a plus one plus one counter. We have a noiner to give it over get it over a four four, and it's that's just kind of huge. So a noiter is is certainly good when you draw it like as a one of and uh, your opponent doesn't necessarily have a bunch of spot removal in their deck and stuff. Because if they're just killing all your stuff and leaving you with like a 1-1, one, one, obviously it's not very good. Woodland Water. My, my opponent's got like a sweet little brew going on here. So yeah, Pelucranos. Just actual 6-6 six, six for 4. Uh, well, I guess I want to crack the clue and play the Militia Captain, but realistically I can't do that. I have to send in the Rabble. And then with the, the colorless fire breathing plus anointer, we can actually trade up with the 6-6, six, six, which is fine. And Stasis Snare is going to be good against this opponent. Uh, so we could pump once, uh, or we could just play our two creatures, or we could crack our clue. I think we just want to play our creatures. And then eventually we'll figure out how, how to have a good swarm attack here. I think with the Militia Captain transforming next turn, should look pretty good. Obviously, my opponent has Radiant Flames at any point where we just can't win, probably, so. Just the old six for two, no big deal. Can't really ever play around it, though. So Vigilance Trample, pretty good. Uh, opponent could also just have like Archangel Avacyn, which would be a gigantic beating. Uh, but our thing got stoned. We still get to transform our Militia Captain, which is good. Uh, get to Knight into another land. Crack Clue now. Into a Noiner, so now we have a 5-5 five, five and an 8-8. Eight, eight. So, what happens here? 1-1, one, one, white and black, human cleric. So that also grows this. So we could just chill. Or we could actually force some trades and kind of clear up this board a little bit. Uh, I think trades are probably better. 
Also possible that we could just like alpha. I mean, we have five things. 8-8 eight, eight requires a block here. 5-5 five, five requires a block here. Which I that can use anointer on. And then thought not can block the knight. So I could also just like let the lieutenant go pump the knight to kill the thought not get a card and deal them four damage. That doesn't really seem worth it. So I feel like we should just wait a turn until we have both anointers online. Hmm. Yeah, it is pretty funny that Woodland Wanderer encourages you to play like, you know, different weirdo off-color mana sources, but like, it's also a four drop, so then it's like, oh, hey, I want this, you know, two mana accelerator that also just happens to add black. And then you have the Eldrazi that uh, want you to play, like, if you're green and white, you want to play, like, Battlefield Forger Gavin White Coast because you want, like, colorless forests and colorless plains and stuff. And then you just have incidental uh, extra colors for your Woodland Wanderer, so that's pretty sweet. What does this mean? What does 6 6 into my 9 9 mean? I kind of want to just find out. I mean, if he has Radiant Flames, my 9-9 is dying anyway. I'm also not convinced that my opponent is anything more than green-white. <laughs> just concedes. Gas. Yeah, we're going to pop the clue and draw always watching. So, uh, I like Stasis Snares. Possible that the grip, grip Boons are really good, too, because my opponent has a bunch of big ground pounders. Militia Captain looked nice. So basically want things to kill big creatures. I uh, can shave on some one-drops here. Uh, anointer looks to be okay, but at the same time, it's like I need so much more help than just Anointer. So, I don't know. Uh, could shave a land on the draw. Probably going to need a lot of spells to beat my opponents. But at the same time, I'm, I'm keeping like a pretty high density of twos and siding in additional threes. So I'm not sure I actually like that. Alternatively, I may end up having to fight through something like Radiant Flames. Uh, so I don't necessarily want a bunch of lands. It's hard to say. So yeah, not much sideboarding gets done a lot of the time. That's okay though. Because a big portion of the sideboard is there to beat up on control decks and... Yeah, we don't really play a match against the Bant Humans deck, unfortunately. But the control deck we played against had a bunch of creatures, a bunch of blockers, basically, which made our Bushwhacker plan pretty awkward. So the sand is fine, not great. Light on creatures, heavy on lands, heavy on global pump effects. Going to lead with Dragon Hunter, because if I play Lieutenant next turn and it forces a trade, then I'd rather trade away Dragon Hunter instead of Kithian. That's pretty good. We just jam the Lou. Still a trade, but I think my opponent has enough fours that they might want to keep their accelerator around. And that looks to be the case. So they can't play Thought Knot. They can play 3-3 three, three, or 5-5 five, five Wanderer. Which they do. Oh man, second Kithian. I think we're just gonna play Always Watching, maybe into Always Watching. I assume my opponent has Dromoka's Command in their deck, but hopefully they just don't have it. Gotta imagine with Thought Knot and Woodland Wanderer you have Dromcoms. So a lot of 
of pacifists and advocates. Just gonna take the five. Don't want to offer up both my things. Uh, more always watchings. If we had a land there, we could play night into always watching. Hmm. So I kind of want to just play the always watching. Not sure if I would attack with the dragon hunter or not. Probably would. No, probably not. Because they could just block with pacifist advocate. So might just keep it on D to block the wanderer. The second Kithian draw is like pretty brutal. Basically just skip to draw stuff. Could just like battle growth my Thalia's lieutenant at any point though. Yeah, we're blocking here. Take a little trample damage. Uh, they transform their pacifist. Uh, we get to knight twice, I guess. This is not bad. Hopefully opponent doesn't have Avacyn. Kind of seems that way. But they would have saved their Wanderer, right? So they can't have Avacyn? But they're not doing anything, so I'm kind of confused. Maybe they just have a bunch of, like, Thought Knots and no Colorless. Dromoka? That thing is large. So if I get to trade with Dromoka here, I'd be pretty happy, but they're just going to chump, which is completely reasonable. We might have a good Alpha next turn. I'm not sure they have a good attack, actually. If they attack with Dromoka, we can attack with everyone, which is a lot of damage. Transform Kithian, still play other Kithian. Okay, Dromoka's coming. It's reasonable because of the lifelink, for sure, for sure. We draw a Griff Spoon, that'd be sweet. Uh, we want to inspect. Should probably play it to get a counter on our Lieutenant anyway. We still have mana up to Indestructible the Kithian or pump the Gossip Monger after we transform it. So, got a lot of big monsters thanks to these always watchings. Knights giving us the extra lands definitely helps. All right, so you lose three things. Transform my Kithian. 
Can't save it from Dramoka. But I can indestructible my Rabble. I guess I get indestructible the lieutenant. That might be better. But Moffat. Oh, gotta love a world where your giant green creatures are just chump blocking my tiny white creatures. Dramoka just facing down 30 power. This is the thing, it's just like, if you're playing, if you have a card like Dramoka against like a Lava Spike deck, then it's generally pretty good. Because you hit them with Dramoka and it requires so much more for them to actually come back and beat you. But, Dramoka against a deck like this just doesn't really do anything. I mean, it, it certainly can take over the game, but it's like there are also games like that where you just outclass the Dramoka. So, uh, yeah, you just make some 6-6s six and then it's no big deal, right? But, uh, finish 3-2, and two. not too bad.